Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about rational expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x squared minus 16 over 9 minus x times x squared plus x minus 90 over x squared plus 14x plus 40. We have simplify this and save the excluded values. Well, let's go start factoring as much as we can x squared minus 16, that becomes an x plus 4, and an x minus 4, right? Denominator that 9 minus x, if I pull out a negative 1, I'm left with an x minus a 9. Multiply it out. Let's go factor this x squared plus x minus 90. What two numbers multiply to be a negative 90, but add to be a positive 1, and then it's a positive 10, and a negative 9. Same thing with our denominator. Let's go factor that out. What two numbers multiply to be 40, but add to be a 14? That is a 10 and a positive 4. All right, this is like my favorite part. We got a whole bunch of things here in parentheses, and let's cross off where we can. I see an x plus 10 and an x plus 10 right there. I see an x plus 4 and an x plus 4. I also see an x minus 9 and an x minus 9 here. So what is left? This is tricky. We have the x minus 4 right there, and it's being divided by a negative 1. Just going to multiply by a negative 1, so let's put that negative out front. And that's actually it. After all that, everything simplifies, or most of it does. And so our simplified answer is negative, parentheses, x minus 4. But now we have to find our excluded values. And that is when our denominator is equal to zero. We've got to find what x values cause that. So here we look at the beginning. We set our 9 minus x equal to zero. And our x squared plus 14x plus 40 equal to zero. And now we're going to solve for x. Okay? We'll also subtract a 9 to both sides here. We have negative x equals a negative 9. Divide both sides by a negative 1. And x equals a positive 9. Not too bad. Here, well, it's easier when it's factored. We already did that work. Let's use that. x plus 10, and we have x plus 4. We now can set both of these individually equal to 0. x plus 10 equals 0, and x plus 4 equal to 0. Solving, subtract a 10 to both sides, and x equals a negative 10. Subtract a 4 to both sides, and x equals a negative 4. And so my three excluded values are a 9, a negative 10, and a negative 4. And so again, our final answer here, simplified, is negative, in parentheses now, x minus 4. And the excluded values are 9, negative 10, and negative 4. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.